talking about master in computer science conversion at UCL. What do you think of? Is it cold, cold, and cold? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Wendy. Nice to meet you here. This video I will briefly talk about my experience at MSc Computer Science in UCL and some simple thoughts for myself. We studied these four modules to build our fundamental knowledge in computer science. Introductory programming, Python, database, algorithmics, computer architecture, and operating system. Comp 66, introductory programming, Python. In this course, we learned general programming stuff like types, variables, strings, accession handling, and then we had a personal individual project to make a basic system prototype for UCL's hospital, UCL Edge. We also had three tests to write code in class and one tricky exam, but most of us thought that was just a waste of time, as it couldn't reflect the real coding ability of students. Comp 22nd Database in my opinion, this course was the most intensive in Term 1. Chapters include SQL, Database Design, Transaction Management, Relational Algebra, Data Warehouses, XML, and NoSQL. We did a group project for a small auction service using JavaScript, HTML, CSS, PHP, and MySQL. And of course, we did use Git to cooperate with team members. I think it would be great if you can self-learn this kind of co-working tools before starting this degree so that you can co-work with your teammates more smoothly. Also got limited time to finish your project. Comp 70, Algorithm Mix. I personally enjoyed this course so much. Although you can learn much more detailed courses about Algorithm Online, the best thing that I got from this course was the appropriate help from our lecturers. They would move on to the next slide until they ensured each student already understood the slides completely. We had two professors and both of them were very helpful. They will answer your questions very well in a short time. We learned about big O notation, time complexity, data structures like breakfast search and deferred search, algorithms like cross codes, Prince, Dekastras algorithm. Comp 68, Computer Architecture and Operating System. This course was almost purely theoretical. We went through basic data representations like binary, hexa, machine code stuff, then it can MIPS, MIPS, and MIPS. Okay, if you're not familiar with MIPS, it's just an assembly language which is uncommon to use in our software developer's daily life. So, if you're not a fan of a lower programming language, just understand it and just ignore it. My personal thought on this course is that we really put too much emphasis on the machine language instead of important operating system concepts such as paging. Comp 67, App Engineering all of my classmates and I agreed that this was the toughest module in the whole degree. We were assigned by the lecturer to different groups, then work on the projects to implement an app or a web. And it's really important how your group member behave. You need to have good luck to have a great team member to pass this module. Why? We need to collect, define the client's requirements and technically build up the whole application within just about 12 weeks, including front-end, back-end, testing, and the whole user design stuff. What's more, we had to write 60-page report to record what we have done. It was really a painful but a very meaningful module. For term 2, you can choose three optional modules. Mine are Comp 39, Entrepreneurship, Psych 21, Effective Interaction, and I don't know how to spell this, but it's Fundamental of Machine Learning. Among these three modules, I would say that my favorite one was Entrepreneurship, of course, as I love to create something from zero to one, just like this video. This module gave me so many opportunities to know these entrepreneurs who graduated from UCL and some of them even build up their business just because of the assistance from UCL. The another useful module for me personally is Fundamental of Machine Learning, as this module helped me land my UK job after only one month graduating from UCL. But believe me, this module is far from fundamental. We need to understand the whole mathematical thing in order to write and implement the algorithm in each class.
However, to a student without any coding background or any mathematical background in data science, this module was definitely a great challenge. Time 30. This is an amazing period to let students complete our project, either in the industry or in the academic field. If you like freedom, you would definitely like it so much because you can make the best use of your time. At the beginning of term 2, students need to determine whether they go for academic or industrial projects. Most of my cohort chose to do industrial projects and some of them continue to stay in the company starting as a software developer but i prefer social science projects so my topic was more about research and i thought that was the best and my proudest project during the whole degree okay so what's my final thoughts about this degree although the tuition fee was extremely high especially for international students and the teaching quality is a little bit beyond our expectation i still think this degree is quite worthy as it let me see See a completely different world in terms of the course structure and the British teaching culture. The most important thing is that I successfully found a UK job in a very short time. So if you are still considering whether to go for this kind of conversion computer science degree, I would say just prepare yourself and go for that. You will never, never regret. That's all for today's video. If you like this video, press the like, subscribe, share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye.